Oops, listen to this. Some of the American graffiti culture we saw in the George Lucas film back in the 70s will soon be brought to life. There is a group working to bring an American graffiti museum. Our Modesto native George Lucas made a movie about our town, which is amazing. And so we're celebrating that spirit. And more importantly, we're telling the story behind all the people and the cars. Hopefully inside this building, we're going to recreate that night during the late 50s and early 60s where we'll take you back to 1962. The music, the cars, the street. So you walk into an immersive experience that brings you to an old Modesto. Welcome back to another awesome adventure video. I am back with some awesome, exciting news. There is actually going to be a little town inside of a building in the greater city of Modesto, California. My birthplace and also the birthplace of the one, the only, George Lucas himself. Let's go take a look. Oh my gosh, here it is. Here it is. This is so awesome. How awesome is that? They actually have the sign up. I was actually by here not too long ago and they did not have the sign up. And then the other day I was driving by and seeing this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta film this historical moment. This awesome moment I've been waiting for since I've heard the news for the very first time. I just had to come and see the progress that they were doing. They are not actually done with the place they just have signed up, but they are actually doing construction inside. Up these awesome stairs we go. Don't know what's so awesome about them, but they're awesome because this is going to be an American Graffiti Museum. Oh, they don't have much in there moment they have the logo still up from what used to be here which used to be warden's furniture outlet Got a fire extinguisher yeah. don't know what the heck they were doing in here but there was people here thought they were for sure doing construction on it they got the sign up how awesome is that, that they are actually going to replicate downtown Modesto inside of this building right here on what it was like to live in the 1960s. I just can't wrap my head around this. Classic car museum coming soon. It's going to be amazing. It's a bit windy, so if I'm shouting, my apologies, but the building goes way down there all the way to where I'm standing down to here and it continues on to this side over here which I believe is going to be the main entrance they even left the open sign from the old business that used to be here now let's take a look inside of here from this angle of the building Yeah, I, I really thought that they were doing construction when I seen them the other day in here. But maybe they were just cleaning things up, preparing for construction. But once this place opens, I'm hoping to come here and document the experience on opening day. It would be awesome. They definitely need to uh, repair some of the building too. Some pieces of paint cracking and flaking off. Spider webs all over the place. And look at the floor. All kinds of markings and cracks all over the floor. They have some serious work to do before they can open. Pretty big place. It's pretty huge inside. They even have a ramp. I'm going downstairs, but they have a ramp for disabled people who are in wheelchairs as well. Then they have another set of stairs, which I went up a few minutes ago over there where my tripod is at. I probably shouldn't leave my tripod 
unattended for too long. Don't want someone to come and pick it up. I think it's awesome that it's going to be in this building right here because literally right down the street on 9th Street, this is Coldwell and on the other side of the light is Woodland. This is 9th Street right here. Down 9th Street was the home to Burgess Drive-In, which was the inspiration for Mel's Drive-In in the movie American Graffiti. George Lucas and his friends would go there quite often from time to time. And if you guys want to come and visit the progress of construction, here's the address, 610 North 9th Street, Modesto, California. Or you can just wait until construction is completed and they open to the public. I just love going to old places like this, you know, historic places, abandoned places. You know, places that thrill me like this, museums, I love museums, I love history. It just blows my mind on how different the world is today compared to when George Lucas used to roam these streets in Modesto. I was born in Modesto. George Lucas was born in Modesto. Jeremy Renner, which is a pretty big actor, he was in the Avengers movie, he played Hawkeye. He's from Modesto. It just blows my mind. It's mind blowing. Not sure what the significance of this gate is right here. As I was saying earlier, this is the other half of the building right here. So you go from the first part of the building where we were just at, you cross through that little little corridor right there in the center, then you leap over to this building right here. I'm not 100% sure if they are going to turn this half right here into the American Graffiti Museum or if it's just going to be that half. Probably just that half since being they only have the logo on that side. But it would be cool to see both halves turn. That would be a pretty freaking big museum. Not sure exactly why I brought my tripod along. I didn't even use it. Oh my gosh! A relic of the past right there. Right there! A relic of the past! Some railroad tracks. Those railroad tracks underneath of this concrete. So that just tells me a railroad used to go right through here. And those are the current tracks today. Pretty interesting. History is interesting. They are letting me know that I am in the USA and that there is no city. They forgot the I on city. Not sure what PVT Pro stands for. So here's the backside of the property right here. There's the building right there that they are going to be turning into the American Graffiti Museum. Not sure why the backside of the building is like a tan color, if you've noticed, and the front side is like white and blue. I'm wondering when they repaint, if they repaint, they are going to uh, paint the whole building. And there's the other side over there, like I was talking about earlier. See, I think someone else has that side of the property, so I am not 100% sure if they are turning that side into the museum. Do a little research for me and, and leave it down in the comment section down below if they are turning both sides of the building into the museum. Well, my friends, this is it. This is going to conclude today's awesome adventures video. Got my trusty uh, tripod right here. Almost a sidekick. Well, kind of is like my sidekick. Even though I didn't really use it today. Never know when you're going to uh, need a tripod. Especially filming awesome places like this right here, right behind me. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy during this pandemic, these crises, these hard times. Remember, we are all in this together. Kind of sucks for 
vloggers like me because I can't even go out to a museum or to something awesome that has a big crowd, especially being that they are all closed. So this is the closest thing right here to it. Anyways, if you are new here, you just happened to stumble upon these awesome videos, please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification. It will notify you guys when the next video is out on this platform. I am Jeffy the Adventurer and I love going to, you know, places like this, abandoned places, historical locations, museums, but being museums are closed at the moment, this, this is the next best thing, right? Even though it's not open to the general public and they haven't even built it up yet, it's still the closest thing, it's still a museum. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.